the last factor of production is entrepreneur now what do you mean by entrepreneur entrepreneur is a person who brings all the other factors of production together he starts an enterprise by bringing land labor and capital together this starts with formation of an idea in his mind and then collection of capital and spending it on land and labor he brings everything together and starts an enterprise for production of goods he is the person who is the owner of such an enterprise he is the person who bears the risk in such an enterprise and he is the person who manages the show so we can call the entrepreneur as organizer risk bearer or the risk taker and the manager his work is to initiate production he starts with production by bringing all the factors together and bear risk now what are the risk that he may have to bear when the entrepreneur starts production he does not know if he will be able to sell the goods or not if he is able to sell the goods he'll earn profits but if he is not able to sell the goods he might earn losses he might go into losses now this is the risk that he bears he gets the labor to work from him sorry he gets the labor to work for him it is quite possible that labor might not work they might go on strike he runs the risk of getting the labors into strike he might have to bear additional cost fixed cost that is the rent the interest on his capital if labors do not work again if tomorrow government brings in a regulation wherein their product is banned from trading he again runs that risk that his product might go out because of government regulation these are the various risks that a entrepreneur bears so he has two jobs first to get the things rolling to get the things started to get the production started second to bear the risk now let's see what are his functions first initiating business enterprise and resource coordination we've already discussed this point the entrepreneur brings all the resources together brings all the factors of production together and helps them coordinate with each other once the coordination is struck the production takes place it is his job to bring each factor together each resource together and manage them in a way that production can take place productively risk bearing and uncertainty bearing we've also discussed this point that the entrepreneur has to take various risk and bear uncertainties as i've already told you the entrepreneur takes risk of losses the entrepreneur takes risk of change in fashion the entrepreneur takes risk of unproductive labor so these are the various risks that he has to bear possibly because of each of these risks tomorrow he might have to shut down there's a big chance of losses so the producer has to take care of all these uncertainties the third function of the entrepreneur is innovations for a business to survive and grow it is important that continuous innovations are done in the business 
there are continuous innovations that take place else what will happen is that business will grow stagnant and possibly after a time it might decline not long back nokia was the world's top most mobile seller but today it is not even amongst the top 3 it was the top mobile seller because it was constantly innovating it brought cameras into phones it brought multimedia into phones it also brought the bigger screen size of the phones but finally it ran out of innovation and then apple and samsung overtook it today apple and samsung are the world leaders in mobile phones and why has that happened because of constant innovation in the words of shum peter it is one of the most strongest it is one of the most important functions of an entrepreneur 